Welcome back to another video I'm going to do today. You can't have a lot of trail bikes and motorcycles without having a trailer to transport them. So I've been in the process over the past year in converting my 14 foot V-nose enclosed trailer into a kind of toy hauler. I want to be able to sleep in it climate controlled, have a TV, have some lighting, some cabinets, um, easy way to store and store some supplies and then uh, haul the bikes out to a fun place to ride. So for today, I am going to install a window into my door. I've ordered the window, I've gotten it, and now I'm going to cut the hole in the door and go ahead and try to hopefully successfully get ourselves a tinted window with a blind installed in the door of my trailer. This is the window that I purchased. They're made for RV doors. It's about an inch and three quarters in uh, depth. They come, they're pre-sealed, they're set up. You don't have to do anything but cut the hole and install it. So what I'm going to do here is, on the back of this, since I do not have a hole in mine, this comes with a nice little cutout that I can use as a template for putting on the door so I can get my cut perfect. So we are going to start first. I'm going to take my razor blade and my straight edge and I'm going to go ahead and cut out this template and then we will get it taped up to our door. Template cut out. Now I'm going to measure up on my door and see exactly where I want it to reside. Once I get that set, we will commence to start in our cutting. What I've done is I've cut out my template from the cardboard. I've measured it on my door, got it placed exactly how I want it. Put some painters tape behind it and I will trace it with a red marker here um, just tracing around tracing around the edge so that I'll be able to take off this template and then we'll be able to start our cutting traced my template you can see my lines there made sure that I double taped each side of it so when I do go across it with my saw I'm not scratching up the paint. I'm now going to take my drill I'm going to drill my starter hole and after I get my starter hole in I'm going to go ahead and cut out my hole with my jigsaw. My pilot hole cut as you can see I got my my jig in here. Um, one thing to make sure is that your blade on your jigsaw is long enough so that it, when it retracts it doesn't retract within the width of the door otherwise when it tries to poke back through you could end up with destruction on the door on the other side so just make sure you got a long enough blade and start cutting out along your uh, trace of the template well, we have our hole cut out now and as you can see hopefully everything is going to work I will grab the window and we will go ahead and put it in here and give it a test the frame of my window and was able to put it in our hole that we made everything looks nice so I will be able to remove our tape and we should let's check our inside here oh and make sure everything's gonna line up on the inside too as well as it should oh my door is sort of opening up this downside trying to record this on my phone so it looks to me like our frame is going to fit on the inside of the window as well everything looks nice and neat we will go ahead and install the window which is pretty straightforward and easy it comes with screws that go into the hole. This is our inside. 
the outside with the window goes in there. The only thing you have to make sure that you do when placing your window into your door is use a little bit of painter's tape to make sure you hold that window in place so it doesn't fall and break until you uh, get your back side screwed in because this actually holds the window against the outside frame as well. So you need to kind of tape it in there and hold everything steady. So we will go ahead and proceed. Frame in here, you can see that is the outside frame. It has a little bead of like almost like a caulk that's already on it. So you do not have to caulk these. Uh, you'll see the caulk that sits on the glass itself. The glass will pin in between that and this outside frame. So I have my outside frame here. I believe all these uh, RV windows are very similar. So you can tell that there's a little bit bigger of a lip on the top than there is on the bottom, the in, inside of that main, that main lip right here. And that is for the top of your shade, which very simply will sit just these pieces will sit right down into those little hooks and then this end here will come down and it will go right into these little hooks you can see right here there's little tabs so they just sit right in there and then it's as simple as putting your outside frame in Make sure you either have somebody help you hold that window on the inside of your door or you want to tape that window so that it does not fall off because it will fall off. And then you put your inside frame on and it comes with preset screws. These screws are the exact length for uh, complete secure on your window. So run them until they stop. Don't, you know, you shouldn't be able to overstrip them. The depths are exactly as they should be, and that's exactly how tight you want to get it. So um, tighten them till they stop turning, and your window should be installed. So I'm going to jump over, and I'm going to install this, and I'll show you how it looks at the end. I had somebody help me hold just the glass and the outside frame in place while I put the screws in the back side. And voila, we have now installed a window into the side of our trailer. I'll give one tip that I found very useful when trying to tighten these screws. I like using my ratchet with my screwdriver attachment. It just makes it easier. I can get it on there. I can, sometimes with a screwdriver, you tend to strip out that screw. Uh, hard to put some pressure on it. These just work so nice if you don't have one. I would highly encourage it right there. I'm totally snug. Nice and easy little effort. Totally complete now. Um, you can tell it makes the trailer look a whole lot nicer. Plus will also provide me with some light coming in. We can go inside now and see. Let's uh Go ahead and flip our lights on over here. Get some light on in here. And let's see how, see, it looks nice. Doesn't feel so enclosed anymore. We can pull down our visor. So thanks for watching and I'll be back with something at some point again later. Thanks.